Why is it always the A's? What are you talking about? Baseball? Never heard of it. Hi, I'm Weston. I love talking about the Astros, and I'm here to talk about game 145 of the regular season where the Astros lose 4 nothing to the Oakland A's and drop the first game of the series against Oakland. And I just... I was nervous coming into the series. It just... It never fails. The It's always the A's. And sometimes, like, during this dynasty run that the Astros are on, it's just... It's always the A's. They are the team that always consistently gives them fits, and sometimes that makes sense. Like when the Astros are an up-and-coming power, and the A's are also kind of an up-and-coming power, but just a little bit behind them. Or when the A's are the powerhouse, and the Astros were not in that one season of 2020. That makes sense. Or in, you know, the then then it gets a little bit confusing. Because then the Astros continue to look great, and the, o, the A's start to drop off, but they're still a thorn in their side. And then, like last year, when the Astros win over 100 games, the A's lose, what, like 90-some or 100 games? And they're still a thorn in their side. And then this year, where the A's started off worse than any team in the history of the sport of baseball, but now still are a thorn in their side. It, ju it just doesn't compute why they continue to look good against us. And, like, I had that feeling coming into the series. I just felt it in me guts that it was going to be rough, or at the very least, the first couple games of it would be rough. It's like, the Astros are, to me, and I think to a lot of us, that one friend that you just know almost too well. Like, you've been friends for forever, and you just know what they're about to do. Like, when they have a thought, you almost have that thought with them. But not that you want to act upon, but that you know they're going to act upon. And you know it's either going to be really stupid or unhinged. And so you know to try to either stop it or just kind of clear back and give them their space so that they can do it all on their own. Like, there's no reason as to why you know. You just know them. And you know how their brain works. And I just felt, coming into this series, that they were going to lose it. And they haven't lost it, obviously. It's only one game. They could win tomorrow, you know, 14 to nothing or something like that. And that wouldn't even shock me. That'd be... That would be on brand if they did something like that. But I just knew. And it wasn't pitching, right? Like, we'll start with pitching. Fromber was fine. Ten strikeouts and one walk in seven innings. Couple of home runs, gave up three runs total. Fromber was not the problem whatsoever in this game. He could have pitched nine innings and struck out every single batter in the game. Could have finished his night with a stat line of no hits, no walks, no runs, no anything and 27 strikeouts and they still would have not won the game they would have still at the bare minimum needed extras it's not on fromber it's not on him whatsoever uh mayton pitched an inning in this game he looked good picked up a couple of strikeouts mate or montero came in in the ninth don't care i he gave up a home run i'm not gonna say anything about him i'm not gonna say anything about the pitching Pitching did their job. They held them pretty well in check. The offense didn't do anything. Couple of walks and three hits. Uh, against the A's. Against the A's, guys. Like the Oakland ones. Offense was anemic. I mean, Pena had a couple of hits in the two spots. So that's cool. I'll tell you if I had a walk and a hit. That's pretty neat. I, j I, I don't know what to tell you. You watched the game. The offense was anemic. The pitching was... I'm not even going to say bad, because four runs is not a bad pitching performance. It just happens that the offense couldn't have hit a beach ball with a sofa cushion. And you dropped the first game. So hopefully tomorrow evening the Astros can begin to right the ship and get right back in the wind's column. The game is at 8-10 Eastern, 7-10 Central. The Astros are sending Justin Verlander to the mound, and the A's are sending J.P. Sears to the mound. I'll be here afterwards to talk about it, but as for right now, that is all I have to say. So if you enjoyed the video, please consider to like and subscribe. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day, and as always, go Strohs.